What's up, YouTube? This is my kitty. Uncle Sam. Yeah, Uncle Sam's a girl. <laughs> it seemed appropriate. She, um, she always, like, snoops around, tears stuff up, does her own thing. But man, sometimes she's just cute as a button. She's pretty soft. Shuffle little kitty. Oh, oh, I see. You see my coffee, don't you? You want some of it, don't you, Sam? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uncle Sam says you're not allowed to make coffee with cream in it. You need coffee with kitty cat food in it. <laughs> oh, hell, that's not my point. Um, so I see a lot of uh, a lot of people that I care about, believe it or not, have made um, made some YouTube videos that are uh, they're deeply concerned about the the federal central bank the central bank imbuing our economy with more money out of quote unquote thin air uh, it's the it's the damnedest uh, it's the damnedest fucking thing a lot of my a lot of my customers at work in their in their little radios they sometimes have the the conservative radio programs on your um, your Neil Bortz and your Rush Limbaugh and your your Glenn Becks and here pretty soon Sarah Palin who uh, started out life as a as a news anchor type person did you know that and she has a degree in who the hell knows what from um, the University of Hawaii that's pretty sweet huh I'm not gonna say it's home economics but um, What I heard from them was the exact same thing that I've been hearing from my, my YouTube buddies, and that's that, well, the Fed's going to be purchasing all these things and putting a bunch of money into circulation and blah, 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 blah. Because we all know that there's no fucking difference between microeconomics or macroeconomics, right? Yeah. Because the, the central bank doesn't have the fucking ability or the tools to imbue an economy with currency and then retract that currency in order to stabilize the funds. Yeah, they don't they don't have that ability. Let me give you all news flash people. And if you don't like it, I'm very sorry, but this is just your uh, your opposing damn argument. Money comes out of circulation every fucking day. Every day. A dollar's wrinkled up, nasty. It transfers from M0 value to M1 value to M2 value, and even to M3 value, which your, which your buddy Ron Paul's like, oh, you guys gotta put M3. You know what? M3 is like M2 plus a bunch of other shit. <clears throat> ben Bernanke and his Fed and this board of government Governors, <laughs> I got the whole gov thing going on. This board of governors for the the central banking system have stated that a quantitative easement does not have a drastic effect on the amount of currency in circulation. I heard that and I'm like, how can this be? How can this be? He must be lying. I'm sure that's what it is. He's lying and and I read another article that oh he's he's the king and nobody can stop him from what he does. Yeah, you need to um you need to go ahead and and research the the chairman of the Federal Reserve before you say that that nobody can touch him. <laughs> Anybody who um who is approved by a president to serve a 14-year term and then gets to go up to the Senate and have to face approval once more, like, what was that, one year later, 2008, and he came back up in 2009? That's, um, that's pretty damn touchable. You got to look it up for yourself, because if I just tell you, you know, who the fuck knows? So anyway, um, 
I can explain to you how the Fed can purchase $600 billion of something without printing new money. Are you ready for this? It's kind of simple. One, they use money that's already there. Two, they can use money that will then be taken back out of circulation. So they, they acquire the assets, but they do not, and they just kind of retract some of their liabilities using these assets. It's, a, it's like a banking, banking balance sheet. Um, urban combat survivor. You mentioned that you were a computer person. Um, I assume you mean programming. Um, in programming, when I was at the University of South Florida, we had to learn Fortran. <laughs> this old school program that nobody nobody used anymore. It it had a bunch of if then logic. Um, go ahead and if you want to, or if you don't want to, that's fine too. I got, I got I got all the time in the world on this. Shit, we'll be talking about it all the way through Q2 because we're going to make it through Q1 and things are going to be okay and we'll make it through Q2. Um, check your if then logic because right off the bat the first and this and it's not convoluted if 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 in Fortran which is an old computer program, hopefully you're familiar with it. In Fortran, it's not exactly like my daughter can just fire up Fortran and be like, oh, she'll think it's some sort of magic. Mm, sorry about the burp. Well, it's not magic. It's a matter of logic. If, if we purchase $73 billion in January and the, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> 